Magandang umaga, J. Keshiters. Today is going to be a very special day. It's been six years since I've last seen my last living grandparent, my Lola Iding, my beautiful Lola. She is such a saint. I'm really excited to go back to my mom's hometown, Kabuyao Laguna, and show you around the town, introduce you to my family members over there, my titos, my titas, and my pinsans, my cousins. You get a little more in-depth insight behind me and my mom's side of the family, who I didn't really know as much growing up because a majority of them lived over in the Philippines and I didn't come to the Philippines until 1994. And you still have that Filipino-American and Filipino gap that you know you, you try to connect and you still try to connect even till this day this is very special to me i brought this teenage mutant ninja turtles wallet this was my wallet as a kid and my lola she taught me a lot about saving money i was lucky to have my lolo and lola in san diego growing up they were in national city potomac street they were up in the hood even though my lola and lola didn't have much my lola always came down to mira mesa every time they would visit on the weekend she would give me anywhere from a dollar to five dollars even though she didn't have much and i still remember filling up this wallet here with i remember 128 dollars and this was like a span of like a maybe a year or two and this all came from my lola every time they would leave I'll call me over to a corner and she would say shh secret secret and she'd give me anywhere from a dollar to five dollars and it really would teach me the value of saving money growing up so my lola was very special to me my lola is very special to me i got pictures of them See here at the Golden Gate Bridge? So I keep their pictures in this wallet and I saved this wallet my whole life to remind myself the value of saving money. And that's my Lola in her house in Potomac Street with her old school Nissan. And this is how I always remember my Lola. So I'm really excited to see her. And this, this is my Lolo Jeremiah because his name is Gerardo and it's kind of a play on his name and my other Lolo's name who I was also fortunate enough to grow up with. I brought a Balik Bayan box, a bunch of pasalubong for my titas that my mom had me bring over. A lot of you Filipino Americans or immigrants can relate about having a grandparent half the world away and I think it's really important to go see them especially while they're still around. My Lola is going to be turning 94 five in March I definitely want to go visit her and say hello because I love her so much so come along with me to Kabuya Laguna we're gonna hop in a car ito si Bitoy hi punta kami sa Kabuya yung Star Mall haunted yan demolished but may amusement park theme park <laughs> Haunted yan kasi ano, dating cemetery Pag na-ride mo yung roller coasters oh, Patay, may, may aswang at manananggal <laughs> Sa tabi mo <laughs> But we're gonna see the uh, Alabang BGC to Kabuya would take 45 minutes without traffic But with traffic it would take up to two and a half hours But we'll see how long it takes It's not bad right now Daming traffic <laughs> Kasi viernes na yun But every day, ganito ha Araw-araw Normal Just turned off the main freeway. I always remember this because when you turn left and you go through Santa Rosa, we're headed towards Laguna. After Santa Rosa is Cabuya, and this is like the final stretch. Because back in the 90s and the early 2000s, we would stay at the house my mom built here in Cabuya over the uh, house she grew up in. We'll get to see that today. That's right, Walter Mart. I remember this. My Lola Barok used to go to Walter Mart all the time to get his watch fixed. That's where my Lolo Toti lives. Owns all that property we just drove by right there, the whole family. <laughs> Look at this guys, this is the Enchanted yeah. Kingdom. Yeah, the Starbucks there. Huh? It's basically the Disneyland of the Philippines. <laughs> and yeah. there's a Starbucks there now too. And look at this, they have like a Space Mountain like building, some roller coasters, wow. I've never been to Enchanted Kingdom, but I've always heard that it's the Disneyland of the Pilipinas. <laughs> Look at that, you got kids on the motorcycle <laughs> like this. This is the Philippines for you guys. <laughs> In America, that is a no-no. <laughs> Ah, 
Oh, we made it to Kabuya. Oh, look, they still got the streamers up. I don't think they ever take those down. We're going to where my mom grew up in Osmeña Street. So Bitoy knows my Lolo, my Lolo Baroque. And he's been telling me some funny stories about my Lolo Baroque and my Lolo Toti. So it's good to hear all these stories throughout the years. And these streets are very masikip, very tight. Ah, yeah, this is the Palenque. We're gonna show you the Palenque later. And all the tricycles are here. Kabuyao City. This is like Marty McFly going back to Hill Valley and seeing his parents in 1955. This is me seeing mom, Cation's hometown and visiting where she grew up. There it is, Osmeña Street. So this is Mom Cation's neighborhood right here. This is the house my mom built that she grew up on. There it is, we'll be there later to see Lola. And literally just one block over is my Tito Jr's house. Over here to the left somewhere. Ah, oh, it looks different too now. There's my Tito. Tito Jr. <laughs> Tito Jr. Musta. Yes. Say hi to mom. Musta, ate. 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 Oye, mani. This, this is my mom's only brother. This is the house of mom's Lola and Lolo. She grew up going here, and Tito Jr.'s lived here forever. Ilan taon ka nakatira dito? Uh, 39. 39 years na. Mga 40 years na. Look, you got the big spoons, you got the fork, and the last supper frame, just like every Filipino household. And here are all the pasalubongs we're gonna give away. Musta pinsan! Tito's made improvements. I remember this used to be all different. Pretty cool. I remember growing up coming over here and hanging out just across the street from where my mom grew up. Wow, this is like uh, Mom Cation's history right here. Great Lolo and Great Lola lived. And there's the spitting image of my Lolo Baroque, <laughs> Tito Jr. <laughs> So this is Osmeña Street. This is where Tito Jr. has lived his whole life. And then just a block down, you cross one street, is the house that they grew up in. My mom built this house three floors up, so it's good to see. And we're gonna see Nanai, we're gonna see Lola. So everybody calls Lola Nanai, but since I'm the Amboy, I'm one of two American born on this side of the family. I call her my Lola. Excited to see Lola. It's been six years. And this is it right here. This is the house. This used to be a rundown termite shack until Mom Cation worked hard and got this done. Hi Lola. Hi Lola Dao. Baby says hello. Baby. Tabaja <laughs> is Mag makeup ka. Hi Lola. Love you. Mahal kita. <laughs> Stay dear Nanai, happy birthday to you. Love you, Nanai. Uh, I love, love you. you. I uh, said, oh, she, she, not, yeah, well, she nodded her head. <laughs> That's why Tito Lowen right there. <laughs> Tito Lowen wears Crocs too, like Dad Cation. <laughs> hey, Dad Cation, you remember Plaza Bonita, when you was a kid, you used to take oh, the KB toys. Oh, oh yeah. Why, wanna go back there then? Go back to the <laughs> city. Nasty, nasty city. We'll be there for a while, but uh, the thing is that I don't have my <laughs> driver's license yet, so... Can't drive? Yeah, I wish I could. <laughs> but I will try. Uncle Lauren is the cool uncle. He used to take me to KB toys and buy me <laughs> cars and stuff. <laughs> See ya, man. See ya later. <laughs> See you, Are you okay, leaving? Yeah. Oh, see so you in back in the States? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good night, Lola. I love you. I love you. Mahal kita. Good night. Happy birthday. Gano. Thank you, Kamu. Flying kiss. Flying kiss sa camera. Flying kiss sa camera. Love you. Ano to? Santo, say. Si Santo Nino? No, from Quiapo. Quiapo? Ang laki. Oh, Uy, this is the living room, the second floor. Look at this. So we used to stay over here in the second floor. We're gonna go down now and go to the Kabuyao Palenque. Sino yan? Coco. Coco? Does he talk? No. Huh? This is the dirty kitchen. Oh, maganda. This is the outdoor part. Ma init dito sa kabuyao tita. Now here's the church. 
Anong pangalan ng church? St. Polycarp. Feast of St. Polycarp. Sponsored by Makdo. This is the church mom Cation used to go to growing up. This is the church right here. St. Polycarp. And this is the main hall of the church right here. And the altar. Yes, I'm Catholic, guys. Alright, I'm gonna get rosaries from Momcation and this is for my best friend Jason because he wore this growing up. <laughs> Salamat po! Thank you! Which one can I yes, get? Po. All? Po. Any? Six. Apa. Oh, no, for Lolo, Baro. Oh. I get. White. Po. Ito? White. Po. Ito white? Apa. Salamat! Thank you! We made it over to St. Clair. We're gonna light a candle for my Lolo here. gonna keep quiet but lit a couple of candles up for the family here this is right across the street from st. Polycarp so this is the main Cabuyo thoroughfare where the Palenque is you get the Jollibee the 7-eleven so if you keep going you go to Columba the home of Jose Rizal so this is the Jollibee two-story Jollibee and then that 7-eleven I used to get booze here when I was like 18 the plaza city of Cabuyao this, this is the Palenque it's now called the retail plaza city of Cabuyao you can see the old gate Cabuyao market 1934 look at this this is Cabuyao history right here little remnants of the gate they have a lot of <laughs> stalls here oh, i can smell the fish yung mga isda and they have this area here where they have toys and clothes and everything and this is a big plaza now look at this and then they have the frutas saan ang fish market na mabaho it's almost like a changet but here in kabuyao dad kation likes that sarap yan who remembers these types of flip-flops islander <laughs> Those are pasalubongs right there. Oh man, they even have your imitation crocs here. And this is the fish market, Tito Junior. <laughs> Kat Kat, like your daughter. His daughter's name is Kat Kat. All right, I'm covering my nose because it smells over here, but this is the fish market. You got mussels, you got fish, what's that? And you have, wow, the fish are still flopping. Poor guys. Oh man. And you also have a lot of seafood over here and then the meat market is over here you got your langonisa a lot of meat stalls yeah so this is where you go get get your uh, dinner okay. Okay. merienda so that is the kabuyao market thanks for showing me tito Maraming hey. salamat all right now it's time to see my lolo we'll talk about him in the cemetery rockby Lolo Baroque. So straight ahead is the Cabuyao Cemetery and we will go to Gerardo's Mausoleum and the great grandparents. So Tito Jr. takes care of this and these are my great grandparents and my Lolo Gerardo. This is Natalia Sigay Nilo, Lola Talying, Gerardo Mailolo, Antonio Santos S. Gainilo. Let me tell you a little bit about my Lolo Baroque. We used to call him Baroque. His real name is Journey or Gerardo. And uh, he was a wild man. He was the opposite of my Lola. My Lola is a saint. And you can see she's just such a caring soul. She gave birth to nine different kids. And my mom's the oldest. And Lolo was like a Wild West gunslinger. He was like Clint Eastwood in a Wild West film. Like this guy is like the Philippines version of Vincent Chase or Zach Morris. This guy was the man about town and me and him always used to butt heads and because of that he respected me and I was his favorite because uh, I wouldn't take his crap and he 
<laughs> and and he really liked that. So uh, my Lolo Barok Rock B, uh, me and Brocation, we love going at it with him. We have a lot more in common the older I get. Remembering Lolo Barok and Rock B, I wish he was alive when I was a, a YouTuber because he was definitely a character. They called me Barok Junior because they'd always like make fun and say I look like him. <laughs> But the one that looks like him is my Tito Jr. for sure. If it were up to my Lola Barok, he'd want me to come here and pour him out a Colt 45 in a paper bag, but I didn't bring one. So a candle will have to do, Lola. Sorry. Me and my cousin Patrick found the better way. There was already a candle. I'll pour one out for you, Lola Rockby. Talking to my cousin Patrick about my Lola Barok and his love for watches. Like, he used to love to operate on watches, dissect them, and then uh, he'd wear them for a few days and then he'd either give them away or he'd try to return it at Target or return it at Walter Mart. This guy was hilarious, man. So this is how a Kabuya Cemetery looks like. It's almost like a New Orleans vibe. Man, this is my grandfather's sister's place. It is haunted AF. Ain't nobody living in there. You cannot pay me to go in there. <laughs> may multo, may aswang, at tikbalang. This is Barangay Malitlit. It's lit. We're in the New Valley area on the way towards Tagaytay. There's so many new places that are open around here. These are all communities. There's the SNR and then the Landers. So we're near Tagaytay going to the Marcos Twin Mansion. It's like we're going back up to the Bundoks. So this used to be the residence of the Marcos family. Like a, like a summer home? Look at this. Oh wow, it's parang ano. It's like a haunted mansion now. Check that out. This place used to be palatial, I'm guessing, back in the day. This is it right here. Oh yeah, this place looks really not upkept, huh? Lunchtime here and we're at Inang Dori. We're kind of in an area on the way towards Tagaytay and we're hanging out with Tito Jr. and my mga pinsan, my nephews. Katkat! <laughs> That's my cousin Katkat. Pinsan. Hello. That's Marcos. What's up, man? Hello. Show your kicks. Let me see your kicks, bro. Oh, you got them 11 red ones, bro. Red and white. Yeah. What's up, Joaquin? Hello. How are you? Good. For those of you that don't know, this is a Kubo. So we're at Inang Dori's Kainan sa Kubo. And we're gonna have some sisig, some bulalo, and some great Filipino dishes with my familia here in Kabuyao. This is still actually Kabuyao. Tagaytay is nearby and so is Kalamba. But I didn't realize that this was still Kabuyao. See this guys? We're literally like in the middle of like nowhere. There's just one street and this restaurant. And usually they have buffets over here too. But we just ordered from the menu. Correction, we are just outside the border of Kabuyao. See, that's what's good about Google Maps. When I want to know exactly where I'm at, it'll tell you. It's time for Pulalo. I was telling my Tito Junior, rice is my enemy. Kanen ang enemy ko. Sabi niya, hindi ka Pilipino. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Hindi ako mahilig tito. Mm. So, bulalo is like an oxtail soup. Fish. Ayun, fish. Ayun, masarap yung fish. Different types of veggies. The broth is what makes it, ma'am. Ayun, masarap yung fish. Ayun, ano? Oh, ay 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 ako sa tilap. Uh, sa tinik. Crispy pata lang. We also got crispy pata, which is pork. Ayun, yung bulalo. Mmm. Good. Bulalo is good. So we had to get the sisig, sizzling sisig. It also has sile, which is chilies. Got a little rice with it. There's crispy pata here. We also have some leche flan with a cherry on top. Bulalo is awesome. And then the tilapia, I'm gonna leave m with my family to eat because uh, ayoko tinik. I don't like the bones. Maarte ako kasi. And then this is my second San Miguelite right here. Tagay. Let's put a sile in here. Let's put a chili. Mm. Spicy. 
You got onions, different types of parts of the pig. It comes in a sizzling plate. Sizzling cheese stick is so good. This is really good. It's got a nice flavor. Vinegary. Mmm. I'm feeling that, guys. All right, we got the crispy pot out. We're gonna dip it in this, in the datu puti. Mmm. That's what's up. Masarapian crispy pot is where it's at. But the sisig with the chilies, so good. Really, really great spot. Kinang Doris. Punta kayo dito. Leche flan for dessert. But I'm so full. Mm. You know what makes a good leche flan is mom. Mom Cation. Really good. This is good too. And they put a cherry on top. Wash it down with a sand bag and you're good to go. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, sir. Yeah. Give a thumbs up. This is Marcos. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Let me see your friendship bracelet. Zorro. Does it say Zorro? Yeah. Nice, man. <coughs> this guy speaks better English than I do. Right? I don't know. Correct. Say bye. Bye. Pinsad pusa. Come here. Salamat. Hello. Salamat. Kat kat. This is my, my pinsan kat kat. Translation in Tagalog is pusa. <laughs> so here's the view from Tagaytay, Kalamba, Cavite. They're all around this area. It's nice to be out here. When did the Marcos family live here? Mga 70s? Very controversial. Look, you even see Imelda there and and uh, the husband. Just so y'all ain't complaining, I know it's Ferdinand Marcos. I was second guessed myself, but yes, Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos, they did live there. There's like a f grass fire going on around here. We're just at a gas stop, we're just in a restroom. See, now this is a road at night, or I wouldn't want to pass because this is where the, the Aswang, the lady in white, would be walking. Patrick, salamat. Anytime, Guya. Magaling ka mag-drive. <laughs> next time, next time. Salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Ba ba ikaw. <laughs> next time ano? Tatlong araw gusto mo. Araw, catch and go. Okay. Salamat. Ingat, ingat. We're here at my Tita Uchi's house now. So I remember this dining room table used to hang out here. Me and Mom Kishin have a picture out in the in the yard. It's like a museum. Bitoy is showing me around. Look at this. This is uh, old, old school Filipino house. But there's a flat screen TV. Oh, nice. Updated comfort room. CR. Maganda. This is a classic Kabuyao house right here. Shout out to Tita Uchi and Tita Abby. That's Lolo Bindoy, yeah. I remember Lolo Bindoy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is cool seeing family pictures. There's Tita Uchi, Tita Abby, and Uncle Mike. Oh wow, they're fixing the bottom parts. Reinforcing, reinforcement. So they're reinforcing the house, the ground, the foundation. Oh, so pretty high house. Meron akong picture kasamang mami ko dito sa garden. Meron. Meron. Bata pa ako. Or is their patio? There's a coconut tree right here. There's the coconuts. Yeah, I got made in Thailand. Made in Thailand. <laughs> Sounds like there's an after school party going on over at the Kabuyao Plaza, right over that way. So I think it was over here. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of me and mom Kation when I was 12 years old. We have a picture in this garden because my mom loves gardening and she loves Ah, uh, Tita Uchi's garden over here. It's really nice. This is my long lost half sister. No, it's kidding. This is my pinsan, Ate Jami. My Ate, my true Ate. Yeah. She's the first one born in this side of the family. Yeah. First born ka. Mm -hmm. Ako third born, fourth born, fourth born. <laughs> you first U.S. born. This is your car wash, Ate. Yeah. Jams so car wash. Look at her car wash. If you ever need a car wash in Kabuyao, Ate, sabihan mo, one and a half percent discount. Point two. Huy! Mag-vlog ka! Mag-vlog ka! This is my mom's beautiful sister, si Teresa. Si Teresa! Huy! 
Bang Bang. What a good name for a bangus place. That's a fish spot. Bang Bang. There's the haunted Star Mall over a cemetery. This is Alabang. Wow, guys, that was a very, very busy, fulfilling, and hectic, amazing day. I was so happy to finally see my Lola after six years. She's 94 years old, turning 95 in a couple of weeks. And I was just very glad to have come all this way and finally see my Lola. And even though, you know, she's a lot older than when I was a child, she's still the amazing woman that she was back then. So I love you, Lola. I just want to give mom Cation, my mom, give her her flowers, give her her just do because my mom, you know, you see her on the vlog every now and then, not as frequently as Dad Cation, because Dad Cation loves that camera. But Mom Cation, my mom, she worked very hard to help provide for her other siblings. She comes from a family of nine and she's the oldest. She was the first one to come to the US. When she worked, a lot of her paycheck, it would pay for our house, but she would also send back a lot of money to her family here in the Philippines. And she helped so many of my cousins and my titos and my titas get up on their feet and live the life that they have now today. So my mom was very humble and helped so many people get their education paid for and just help people in time in need, especially family. And look what she did. She built the house she grew up on. She tore that down and built it up. And now it's a, this huge compound where the family lives and where, where ultimately my grandma is. So mom, Kation, mom, big ups to you because you deserve the flowers and you deserve all the just do in the world, all the praise in the world because you work your ass off to provide for your side of the family. And I see that. To all of the Filipino Americans out there that haven't seen their grandparents or even their parents or family here in the Philippines, I really suggest you do. It really helps you get more in touch with your roots. It gives you a better perspective in what your parents have gone through in their life, where they came from, and where your roots are from. It really just helps you in a journey of self-discovery and a journey of knowing who you are, where you're from, and reconnecting with my family on my mom's side. You know, they're the Philippine side. You know, I'm the Phil Am who grew up with the Manicus side, and I'm very close to the Manicus side because we all have a lot in common. We all were born and raised in the States. I see a lot of my cousins there as brothers and sisters. I didn't see my mom's side of the family much growing up in America and it's really nice to connect with my cousins that are here that I do love and I do see and only talk to every few years. I really do feel fortunate to be doing this for a living and travel vlogging. And I know these videos are super long, but I want to give a little more insight into why I'm here in the Philippines and the people I've wanted to see for the longest time after six years. I'm very happy that I was able to get my mom to talk to her mom on the phone. That really meant a lot. My advice to people that are watching, it doesn't matter if you're Filipino American or if you come from a family of immigrants and you have family from far away, go visit and go learn a little bit. Have a meal with them. Go talk to them because that's what it really is all about. That really helps ground you and for that, I show a lot of gratitude for today. So it was really nice to see where my mom grew up and uh, makes me really appreciate Mom Cation that much more. So Mom Cation, I acknowledge you. Much love to all the Jcationers for watching this super long video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this inspires you in the future to go see your loved ones, regardless of how far away in the world they are. It really means a lot, believe me. My heart is whole today, so I'm very happy for that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, where would you like to visit your family members, whether they're 200 miles away or across the Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean? Let me know. I love you, Lola. I love my family. And it was great to visit my Lolo's grave and uh, pay my respects to him. I'm, I just wish I had a brown bag of Colt 45 to pour one out for my homie, my Lolo Baro. Maraming salamat. And in the words of me, stay traveling, Pilipinas. Mabuhay, mahal ko kayo.